Okay, uh, so I just wanted to talk really briefly about a cool little project that I was working on. Um, I was... Oh, I lost my train of thinking there. Um, so I was working on something that required me to... Oh, sorry. Sorry, is this not the good signal that I was getting? Um, I was working on a project that required me to run, I think it was like eight different processes, um, a bunch of different server processes, a static web server, um, a node instance, um, and I was doing mobile development, so I also needed to have the Android emulator running, um, the log console, a whole bunch of stuff that took a long time to set up. Um, and also, I kept on forgetting because each time I change one of my Python files, I need to restart like three of these different processes. Um, so I built a little tool called, this isn't it, I lost my thing, uh, called Python Pro, P-R-O, um, which you can find at, on my GitHub. Um, and it turns that instead of running eight different processes, uh, I can just type P-R-O hit enter, it'll start up my Android console, uh, start up, you can see in here, it started up all of my various different um, server processes, um, and if I can find it while it's booting, um, basically all you have to do in order to use it is you create uh, this run file in your, so it kind of works like Fabric in that it, it discovers something in your local directory um, and basically, you just specify a bunch of processes that you'd like to run um, that can optionally be wrapped with a CMD if you want to uh, change the directory, um, but don't require that, um, and a, a list of files to watch. So basically, what this does is it, it runs the processes in your list. Um, it observes the files for changes. Uh, so if it's a daemon, it'll just continue running it, and it'll restart it when the files change. Um, if it's a process that, say, compiles a file, um, it'll just rerun it when the file, when the observed file changes. So we've got, yeah, we've got our Android emulator running here. So let's log into that. Um, and I can open up the HTML file that I was working on. Um, say hello pi Texas. Save that. And you can see in this terminal it's detected that it's changed. It's going to restart. Um, so it's just re-uploaded it to the Android emulator. And if we wait a second, it should, crossing our fingers, restart the process. There we go. Mm, didn't echo it out, but did everything else. Thank you. <laughs>